Newton's Law, one of the fundamental relationships found in electronic circuits. It states that for a given resistance, current is directly proportional to voltage. If you increase the voltage through a circuit with a fixed resistance, the current goes up. If you decrease the voltage, the current goes down. It is incredibly useful because it allows you to calculate an unknown current, voltage, or resistance. You can easily calculate the third value if you know the first two. With this information, you can find the right potentiometer for your circuit. The formula is simple. V equals I times R. In this formula, V stands for voltage, measured in volts, I stands for current, measured in amps, and R stands for resistance, measured in ohms. Quick history lesson. Current in amps is expressed as the letter I thanks to one of the early pioneers of electrical science, a French physicist named André-Marie Ampère. The French word he used for strength of the electric current was intensité, or intensity in English. Therefore, amperage is the measure of a current's intensity. On a similar note, the word volt comes from Italian scientist Count Alessandro Volta, who invented the first electric battery in 1800. If you know the circuit's voltage and current, remember back to high school algebra that you can flip around the formula to divide voltage by the current. Say you have a 0.96 watt computer fan that operates on 14 volts DC with 0.08 amps. 14 divided by 0.08 would give you a resistance of 175 ohms. That tells you the nominal resistive value of the potentiometer you need with at least 0.96 watts of power. For more how-to videos, visit our channel Galco TV and make sure to check out our huge selection of potentiometers and more at galco.com.